here at uh, War Eagle yeah, Park. I didn't even get no message. Sioux City and uh, the relatives have just arrived. <laughs> the nine uh, Rosebud Sioux children right. returning from Carlisle. Just uh, pulled in. They have a police escort. Oops. Do you want to go talk to them? Yeah. Tell them where to park at? Caravan just arrived from Nisquaki land. Again, we're here at War Eagle Park in Sioux City, Iowa, and the nine relatives from Carlisle Indian School just arrived. They were supposed to be here a while ago, but uh, got delayed in Meskwaki country. Um, but they're here now, and uh, the relatives here are going to welcome them to Sioux City here. Um, on behalf of uh, 
uh, the relatives of the Sioux City community and the surrounding reservations. We got Santees. We got Santees to the uh, uh, to the uh, west. We got uh, the Hantuans. Uh, their territory starts, so Chetty Chacoin just starts on the other side of this river. Um, you, 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 you went right by it. That was the tip of South Dakota and uh, the tip of the Chetty Chacoin and the Ihantawans up to the north. Um, we have uh, the Winnebago's, the Ho-Chunks that were exiled out of uh, Wisconsin that are 20 miles to the south and the Omaha's just on the other side. And the Omaha's uh, gave uh, Winnebago some of their reservations so so they could be well and try to pursue something good for themselves and all these relatives and all kinds of relatives there's, there's over 120 different tribes here in Sioux City and and uh, I'm, I'm my name is Manape Lemire uh, uh, my father is Frank Lemire and my mother is uh, Cynthia Lemire and she's a Rouse from the Yankton Res. Um, and uh, and we heard about we heard about the things that you were doing and uh, we wanted to do the best we can to welcome you um, because we also know that there's going to be more things in the future uh, that, that, that you know, more trips probably and so we wanted to uh, we, we wanted to make sure that you felt welcome and well and I know it's late so I'm gonna keep this short. But uh, all this whole this whole area is all full of relatives, all full of relatives, and and uh, and uh, they all came out to share a meal. We have some food over here for you guys. We got it covered up with blankets right now, but we wanted to share that with you. <clears throat> and you guys could take some with you. Maybe that's maybe that'll be breakfast. <laughs> but uh, but we got some a lot of love over there. A lot of love that people put into that over there. Uh, we had a, a rosebud relative named uh, Chet Stoneman and Melanie Stoneman. Uh, um, um, I think her her maiden name is uh, Bear Comes Out, um, or Bear Hill, Bear Hill. And um, you know, I want you guys to know we've been we've been helping to fight things like Zachary Bear Hills down in Omaha was murdered down there. Oh. Um, uh, uh, one of your own Shitangu relatives didn't make it to his destination and. Uh, 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 Omaha Police Department had, uh, had treated him uh, away in a way where his, 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 uh, the creator called him home. And uh, and uh, we have Shitangu relatives all over here, but they're all out at they're all out in uh, Spring Creek sun dancing right now, and other places sun dancing. <laughs> and so I know that they uh, they're thinking of you. I know they wish they're here, but they have a commitment. Know, and so we think of them and they're thinking of all of you right now. Um, uh, but uh, uh, a Ho-Chunk woman helped put all that food together over there. And then um, and then uh, we have other relatives here that stayed up and waited for you that, that helped in different capacities here in the city. And, and uh, we have some Dakota relatives that uh, sang some songs thinking of you, thinking of these children. And uh, we also have relatives that are directly related uh, George George White Sunder who's uh, related to uh, uh, um he's here and he made sure as he brought his girls too his little grandchildren and nieces um, and brought them over and they got to witness got to witness this you know and um, uh, we just we did the best we could and we even we even made a new staff for the city for this and then me and my companion we have our home here. This is our TP, and it's the first time we're using it, brand brand spanking new. And so it's an honor to uh, to facilitate this and uh, to welcome you to the uh, the gateway to the uh, Ocheti Shakoin. And um, and uh, we have some relatives that are going to offer up offer up uh, some songs here. Uh, but uh, I also want to leave this space open if anybody wants to speak. Uh, uh, on behalf of your caravan and your entourage, you know, and, and uh, speak for those relatives over there. And uh, it, uh, today we talked to some news people and, and uh, how to how to convey how to convey 
all the emotions and all the things, these sort of things are kind of triggering, especially since the Canada thing's been going on. <clears throat> but uh, but uh, uh, we do we do want to thank these young ones that initiated this and the elders that help them along um, because it it, uh, it it provides some hope. You know, the staff that we put up, uh, Chet that was here, he has a wapaha, and we put that wapaha on there. My little nephew Andrew, he sang that Dakota flag song that talks about that talks about that staff never falling, um, never being destroyed, you know. And uh, and I felt I felt I felt a lot of different things, uh, but uh, but it felt good to see our little Wakaija, this is my little my little nephew there, just singing that song, you know, and. Um, uh, we thought of you, and so I, we wish that traveling grace, and we got that spirit food out, and some water in there, and then and we bless that, and then inside there, there's some, there's our uh, our spirit food in there, some wajapi my companion made, and uh, and some uh, some wasna my companion made, and so there's some bapa in there. We had to go to the gas station for the bapa though, it's not. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but uh, but we did the best we could for you to make you feel well. And if you have to do this again, you're welcome here. You're welcome, and we'll we'll do the, we'll do this again. And, and maybe this time it uh, it'd be warm. The food will be warm for you. You know. But uh, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say that much. I'm gonna open this up for 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 our guests. You know, and we'll we'll have some food for you to take with you. It's all ready to go. It's ready to go, and so you can have that tonight or morning or whenever um, but I'm gonna open that up and then and then uh, and then our relatives are gonna uh, offer up a song for you so uh, the floor is yours Matakiasi. Um, first off I want to say thank you guys for still being here you know you guys have been out here for hours and, you know, seen here. and you're still out here that just shows the amount of support and love you have for what we're doing and so I really want to extend our hearts out we're a big thank you for still doing this, you know, and still waiting for us. And, um, my big personal perspective, and like, maybe sometimes when you run on Indian time, it's supposed to happen that way. In the sense of, when I looked at this teepee, I looked above it, and each pole is representing one of the, um, it's holding up the Big Dipper right now. And how I see the Big Dipper is, whenever it goes down, it's picking people up. And then it's throwing them back into the stars. And right now, it's in the area of, you know, throwing people up into the sky again. Maybe because we're bringing them home, in a sense. And I really want to say thank you for all the food that you've given us. You know, we'll eat it. Sometimes. I'll eat it. You know, it's, a, it's a really great thing to you know, be offered food, you know, that extension of yourself in a form of love energy. So we're really grateful for it. And, you know, we really appreciate everything you guys do. Akichika Chikala Hoksila, Umachi Apiela, Chate Washi Nafe Chiza. You know, this welcome home sign pretty much says it all. You, know, you guys allow us to be home. You see TV, you see fire, you see the stars. You know, we are home now, but yet the final destination still has some places to go. So thank you for allowing us to you know, step foot here and allowing us to have that rest of like we're almost there. We really appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. Hello, my name is Asia, and um, like Christopher said, it means so much that you guys are still here after so many hours. The amount of support and love that we felt just pulling in, and it, it feels really honored to be following home our relatives. And um, earlier, Christopher mentioned when we stopped at the stop before we came here, is um, you know, when one it's one small victory for us, but it's a victory for the whole nation. We're all standing together. This is, we are all one people. And seeing everyone come together, it's, it's unbelievable because sometimes you know, the world does get really cold and you, sometimes you feel like not everyone's behind you. But as indigenous people, we've all been standing up. We've all been rising. We're, we're a failed system of what the U.S. tried to do is annihilate us. And we're showing them that we're still here. And again, thank you so much. Thank you for the food. Thank you for the love and the support. 
When we first started this journey um, six years ago, we were put into a, um, when we were first leaving this place, um, not this place, but Carlisle, we ran into fire twice. And along our journey home, and even today, if you're still paying attention, you can still see the fireflies around us, and they've been following us home. Mm -hmm. And so that shows that, like, <laughs> in my eyes, that we're on a good journey of killing, of, you know, being free again. And so, yeah, you know, like she said earlier, when one of us falls, we all fall. But when we rise, we all rise as a nation of indigenous people. And, you know, just like this fire, the fire is burning in all of us right now to do something better for the next generations to come. So that, as it was put earlier from my friend, we want to move the mountains that are in front of us so the next generations can have a smooth path behind us to walk. And then hopefully down the line it gets smoother and smoother for the whole world, not just our nation. So again, you are my Elo. Oh.
Mm -hmm. All right, folks, um, I'm going to walk around a little bit here, but uh, probably going to shut it down here in a moment. Thank you for joining us.
see you, Julia. I've been amazed at uh, how a lot of like institutions like that, and those truckers up in Canada, I mean, yeah. people just want to do something, you know, yeah. get involved. Or, yeah, that's good. I thought it was extra special that, you know, our own people butchered this, and it's for, for our own people. So it kind of all circled you. around, yeah. you know, it like circles around in so many aspects, you know, you know, then we had a chef, um, Chef Anthony Warrior, he cooked the food, and he mostly says he's on a daga, and I found out he's see Changu. Really? Yeah. Wow. So even like, people's identity, even just being Rosebud, <laughs> like, like how you said, yeah. like, yeah. our nation healing the nation, they like, heal all the nation. Yeah. So it, it's a really good start. And it, it's just so right on time, you know. Yeah. Divine timing. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, it's like it's going along with yeah. the shift in the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for y'all stop that Mesquah here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Add me waiting. That was about uh, 200 people here. Yeah. We're watching the live. Yeah. yeah cool. You felt really bad. We wow. um we set up all the youth who were here, all the like 10 year olds and under, and then that's how we started off that. Spirit food, right? We started off the line with water yeah. and then the wasma and then the choke cherries, yeah, which nice. is probably from Spring, Spring Creek. <laughs> <laughs> Spring Creek choke cherries. So it's a lot of rosebuds. It's a lot of rosebuds. It feels really good. That feels really good. It sounds good to me too. I'm really happy for all this. I really apologize for this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, of... well, is there going to be a part two? It does. So, I don't even think part one's over yet. Yeah, part one ain't over because. But, um, so, like, I've been knowing your story, like, and, and uh, you know, I talked to Dwayne, you know, at the school, and he told me the story, and, but I, I've been following this journey, and then when they, you know, had that post, there was a post that it said a Sioux City, that you guys are going to stay here in Sioux City, I told Monopoly right away, because, you know, that's my man, and this is where he's from. I like, look at this stuff in this city, maybe we can do something. Go ahead. And just like that, they're really mover and shakers. That's a 
Great Plains Action Society. Yeah. Dude, they whipped it out. Yeah. They whipped it out. They got it going. And then, uh, the yeah, Monopoly got on the phone right away with the chief of police. And, and he was excited to do it. And he's like, I will personally escort him. There's a lot of love here. And you know, I come around here and I'm like, excuse me, I'm a Sue, and you're in my city. <laughs> That's how we're Sue. All right. Or no. <laughs> I'll tell you what, whenever we go home, whenever we get the opportunity to talk again, as, since it's still youth, mm -hmm. since it has that power, you can, because I don't like that either. Yeah. I always hear about it. And, and I've, really been, I've been like singing that song for the past four years. Change the name, change the name. I get yeah. it. They, even themselves, those administrators and those people, they talk about how bad they were treated. Mm -hmm. And then after they get talking, I get on the microphone. I'm like, are you ready to change the name now? Yeah. Can yeah. We, are, do we still must carry this legacy? Yeah, it makes sense. Anyway, so I left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, yeah, we need a bigger pull it, so. it takes, it takes like, and the tribe itself um, made its own school. Yeah. So that tells me that they don't believe in St. Francis anymore. Yeah. Because they themselves, you know, voted on a brand new school to be La Cota. Yeah. So it's not going to be at St. Francis. Any decolonizing it is not going to happen. Yeah, right? So if all us mothers, like, try to get rid of it all together. And yeah, we're on the same page on that. See what I can do. And, um, you know, that land be um, belongs to the Archdiocese. Yeah. And, um... I used to work at the museum, the Beautiful Museum, in Father Hatcher got mad at me, mm -hmm. he kicked me off, really? and he's like, you check in your keys, and you gotta leave within, you know, five minutes, and it's like, well, who are you to kick me off my mind? That's inside the uh, TP here where the nine uh, places are set up. So you can see. like everybody's starting to disperse here and head back to the vehicles so I think I'm gonna shut this down for the night but uh, we'll be back in the morning uh, they're gonna do a ceremony in the morning uh, when they depart Sioux City so uh, I'll be there for that and uh, I'm not even sure what time that is but I think it's pretty early like 7 in the morning or something Central Standard Time hey do you know what time the ceremony in the morning is uh, okay, so 7 a.m. is morning refreshments, and then 7.30 is supposed to be morning prayer, and then departures at 8. 8, got it. Yeah. Great. Uh, Tyson, or is that here? Uh, Tyson Event Center, parking lot, uh, front entrance. Got it. Okay, cool. All right, thank you for joining us, and uh, I'm going to shut it down for the night, but, uh, Wokilotonka.
Tak je asi.